Man, you get some work done with this, didn't you? <laughs> no famous people anywhere. No. Apple. There's Grumpy Granddad, he's famous. Where's Dad? But we lost Dad again now. That's on the other way, Adam. Oh. Did anybody else lose their Grumpy Granddad at farm shows? Where's Dad? Oh, yeah. There he is. Did you ever think that would come about, Dad? Look at this, we got a publet. Where's the beer at? Wow. Ah, oh, I want to have another one of them. It swivels all round and tilts everywhere. Right. I could get much credit in a, in done in a hurry with that. That's huge. That is humongous. Morning. Morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Ready to start filming. So yeah, here we are. We've got sisters here and grumpy granddad's here. We're just going to uh, show you around Lama for the day. So um, we're going to see what's new and what's exciting and anything that takes our interest. Can't wait to talk to some interesting people and uh, and have a good time. I think I've lost my sister and dad already. Where they gone? Yeah, I've lost them. Enjoy the day, guys. Let's say an hour. Yeah. All right, we got an hour. Me. <laughs> On the Verdestack stand. Yeah, RSTs are over there. We've got to do some filming over there. So nothing particularly new. We've had a chat with Roland. Everyone loves Roland, don't they? Yeah, he Roland is our... Um, new Verdestat guru. One thing that is new on here is a 12 meter cultivator. Just a 12 meter pig tying cultivator. Man, you get some work done with this, didn't you? Shall I go the other side yeah. so you can Should we wave out? at each other yeah. from the other end? That is, a long, that is a long way away. Can you even see my sister? That's a big cultivator, 12 meters wide. So if you want to just dry some drier field out, man, you can cover some ground with that. But I bet you can go fairly hard with it as well. I bet you do like 12K with that. And then we go to RST's, our local neighbour. See if we can creep up on him without him knowing. Um, here comes Mr. GoPro. Are, are you okay being on camera? Is it okay? Oh, no. It's not going to be good for your sister, it's is it? has got a good face yeah. for radio. <laughs> That's not exactly that, yeah. <laughs> so, Grumpy Grandad, who are we talking to? Uh, Terry Smith of RST Irrigation. Okay, only up the road from the farm. Our local neighbour and, and new sponsor for the video. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rain gunners a couple of years yeah. uh, in development, yeah. uh, which stops you irrigating onto roads, yeah. tracks, if you've got tracks in fields, uh, and it stops you double watering headlands. Yeah. You can split your runs up so you don't, don't double water anywhere. Yeah. So if you've got wooded areas, ditches, it'll speed it up, it'll slow it down, it'll keep out the woods. Right. Is this it? Yeah, this is the gun control, which you can control either from your phone uh, right. or automatically when it's in a field, it knows where it is. Do you and put you, a field map in? Yeah, your maps either from people like Gatekeeper or John Deere or something like that. Yeah, which you can my download. John Deere. And then it knows the field boundary, it knows where there's a house, it knows where there's a road, because it won't irrigate those obstacles. Uh, and it'll show you how much you're applying, it shows you which run you've done in the field. How, how, many how many times you've done them, I suppose. How many times you've done it, the amount you've applied on each run. Yeah. Um, so your agronomist can go in the field <laughs> and he can say, OK, well, I know this run was done on the, this date and 20 mil was applied or whatever. Yeah. So, it, and it, it, it makes sure that you know the machine's still running. Yeah, still running or stopped or, or stopped. either or. You yeah, know where you're it. at then, don't that's you? That's right, yeah. You haven't got to keep wondering if, if they're going. And you haven't got to send someone out at 10 o'clock at night no. to check it's running. This is just a small part of it. You've got what we call beacon, which goes into an electronic pump house. Right. So you can start and stop remotely. It'll measure how much water, how much killer what you're using. Can you ring the customer then and go, oh, by yeah. the way, I, I, your I, irrigator's I'm not quite stopped. proactive in the evening. I'll, I'll then send a yeah, message yeah. because I said, you know, this machine's <laughs> You haven't got or, enough to do, or you? Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're irrigating over here and you should be over there yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to ask, can you attach it to the system that you've already got or do you need to get the whole no, new... No, no, it'll go... The, the gun control will go on any machine, uh, as will the rain dancer. That just goes on to uh, a gun carriage or a boom or so pivot it's, or, or it's anything at all. It's not a huge outlay that you have to... Yeah. On this one, it's obviously it's irrigating here. And then what it will also do is, because you want the even application here to there, it's only doing half an arc, so it then speeds up at that point. Right. And then comes slows, down, slows and down, and then as it comes in, you'll see it will then adjust to the boundary of the field. Yeah, and if you watch over here, in a little while, there's a line that's going to come into here, which was because you don't want to double water yep. at this point. So this one will only go to that point. Yep. 
and then the other one fill, fills in the rest of it. That's right, yeah. Clever. I've got one customer that's got 84 units with these on and he says it saves him about four hours a day. Really? Uh, just checking the information and seeing where machines yeah. are. You know, the savings are... Without physically going and looking. That's right, yeah. And they're about £1,200 the unit. Okay. So they're not... It's not outrageous. It's not silly money. And then when you get that, does the app come included or do you have oh, to... Oh, no, no, you get the app and the web version. Uh, and you can do, and you can have as many users or access to it as you want. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. All, all, all both of us can have a. That's app. right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Terry. Yeah. Welcome thank you. Diesel. Really, really yeah, appreciate you. it. Yeah, thank yep. you. Can we can we start off with who we're talking to? Uh, you can pronounce your first name because I get it wrong every time I say it. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm uh, uh, call you Jonesy. Like you've no problem with that. I'm Brian yeah. Jones from Grange Machinery. Yeah. Um, met uh, met Dan four maybe five years ago something like that wasn't came it, yeah. came to the farm didn't you yeah. uh, to our offices and uh, we ended up uh, selling you a four meter ldt yeah and um yeah we've been a you know you've been on our on our customer basis since then i guess really yeah. so good to see you back here at lama 22. Yeah. <laughs> Any, anything new you've got out today yeah well we've to be fair we've we've come here with with a fair few new machines and such really but yeah. uh the sort of the newest addition to the to the to the fleet, so to speak, really is but the LDL, which is a low disturbance looser in the, in the corner there, yeah. uh, all kitted out with seeders and access platform and so on. Yeah. Become a real popular machine for us to compare that one. We're offering that from in a three meter model all the way to three, four, five, and six. So, uh, and we've got good sales right across the board. And then right behind you as well, we've got the CCT again, a real popular mover for us, really, more for the well, sort of smaller frame tractor. Uh, and maybe smaller acreage farms as well. Yeah. Uh, quite versatile with being able to, to trail units, but mainly for mounted units behind this. Right. ETO drives if need if need be. Um, yeah, and, and again, can be used in four metre, uh, in three metre in one machine. We also do it in six metre working with as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. And we haven't actually brought it to the show. We've got a strip till unit. It's, this is the, the latest addition to this fleet. Right. So on the, on the backboard there. Yeah. Um, Put a lot of time and effort into that. We're sort of two years into the making, really, which is uh, we're really pleased. So, uh, and the idea of that now is we're trying to prepare land um, ready to then to then drill maize directly onto those row centres. Yeah. You know, be it that afternoon or it could be a fortnight later, but at least so we're we're, we're actually applying uh, granular fertiliser down the leg. Uh, we've got a cultivation system that we've actually sort of tried tried and tested for, for like two years now is that, that that's gone uh, and we've just finally I think this year sort of okayed it so we'll go into full production on that um, for this winter onwards yeah. so yeah it's uh, been busy yeah at the end of the day you guys in the field yeah exactly the well, when, when we bought our uh, machine yeah the LDT yep. yeah yeah um, we didn't have any black grass so it was yep. perfect but now yep. we've got black grass I'm kind of steering away from that yeah more towards one of these to a one pass sort of blue, yeah blue one pass system. just and then I can get a good of course you can absolutely yeah and then verdict that afterwards but it's so nice having to do it all in one hit yeah yeah of course on heavy land it just leaves a slot doesn't it yeah. Oh, it scuffles yeah, it around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think it really we've got three different widths of points, and I guess yeah. really with what we're trying to offer, you've got three different types of points to what to, to cater for the type of land type you yeah. go into. Maybe I need a narrower point. Yeah, you can. I think so, and yeah. I think maybe uh, we just need to look at what what sort of depth settings you're at, um, and again, you know, get your setup a bit better and yeah. the right point. And yeah, she'll perform. There's no two ways about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank really appreciate Thank you. it. Thank See you. you. Again. you too, mate. Take uh, care. We'll, we'll talk in a few. Get a wave, Dad. Ah, how are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Have you seen anything you want to buy yet? Yeah, it's one of them. Look at all this stuff. You want that one? Granddad's handing himself a. Um... <laughs> Dad, yeah, get in that one. This is more your. <laughs> Don't get in. You're on. What do you reckon to your first Lama show then, Anna? Yeah, it's good. You like it? Yeah. Have you seen anything you'd like to buy? Um, not yet. 
<laughs> Come on, Grenon. Ray Larrington. Oh, right, okay, I don't believe you. I don't. The glasses are there, Ray Larrington. Right, I mean, he's got the new tyre replacement system on him. Yeah. So you can let the tyres down. Pump them up as Sorry, well. YouTube. You alright? No, you ain't in the way, mate. You'll be on YouTube is what I was getting at. So what our main plan today was to have a wander around and see most of the people we deal with more than more than everything, yeah? Yeah. Because we just haven't got time to see everything. But we're gonna try and do like a little snippet of everything. Yeah. Well, a snippet of from people we deal with and people we are associating with. And anyone else that new to us really, isn't it? So um yeah. yeah. Sorry if we don't see all the show, guys. So many exciting things. Hang on, I've got to see how much I weigh. Yeah, does it work? Seven kilos. Stuff, oh, okay. on my face. oh okay <laughs> yeah so i thought we were going to try and go live for you guys so it's not really happened is it just give you a little tour around Lama because obviously we're wandering around and it'd be interesting to show some of you folks that haven't managed to get here what sort of kits on on offer but yeah no it hasn't worked so we'll try next year cheers Grassland boys would like this. Yeah. Oh, how are you lot doing? Look at this, they've got a public. Where's the beer at? Anna, it's got a full blown public. Oh, nice. <laughs> play, to, play to win beer prizes. Wow. Where's Dad? Keep, keep walking, Dad. Yeah. Well, we lost Dad again now. Did anybody else lose their grumpy granddad at farm shows? He's like, ooh, shiny. Ooh, pretty. Ah, oh, I want to have another one of them. Swivel buckets. It swivels all round and tilts everywhere. Right. But we haven't got a pipe that bigger to have a go with one, so beast to the machine, isn't it? Oh, what about? Hey, it's tram spread. Edwin, he's not listening. All the kit looks good anyway. Well, we spent a good day polishing it all, so hopefully <laughs> it does. It's where well, we've got a GSM remote, that's fairly new. That one you can operate by your phone. Right. Rev up, rev down, start, stop. Uh, divert valve, so you return the slurry back to the store if uh, yeah. yeah, if they run out of uh, yeah. run exactly. It. Start the air compressor. Um, you got telemetry for inlet pressure, outlet pressure. Um, you can record your divert hours, your spread hours, and your pump hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and this this same principle, but radio instead of GSM. Right. Yeah. I take it that's what you've got in the cab, Ed? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what's in the cab. Again, you, you monitor pressures in, in let out. Nice Thank you very much. You. And you, mate. Thank Thank you. Oh, my stuff. I could get much credit in, a, in done in a hurry with that. Look at all this, look. God, that's a whopper. I could drive one of these around all day. That's huge. That is humongous. Tires on it are massive. The butt, butt, butt brake on there is huge. Look at the side of that. 15 foot wide. Where'd that go? How you doing? We're here with Burry. Yeah. Tenor Mechanique. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, we're just going through a few things that we offer, especially for agricultural communities. So, okay. Um, just asking my opinion. Now, one of the uh, questions I would like to ask you, one of the applications we're, we're looking at that seems uh, to generate a lot of interest uh, last time I came to Lama uh, was for access control. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are putting very basic gates on farming communities. Yep. 
uh, just to monitor. So something like this, which is just going in the field, stopping somebody going onto the field, potentially stealing some equipment, etc. We can put a very simple cam mechanism on the game. And with a limit switch and the XIOT, just send a signal back to a mobile phone to the farm to say that gate's open or closed. The status uh, of that yeah. gate, yeah. if anybody opens that gate, it will you let know them know. That. Yeah, so, especially if you're not expecting it. Really. Exactly. Uh, so, you know, if they're opening the gate and they're on their tractor and they get a buzz and, yeah, I know I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> but if it's two o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know, but you yeah. know, just start thinking about other things. How secure is it? Because I could just imagine if someone wanted to get into a field and they know that it's got a sensor on it, could it be damaged? Do, do, do you well, know what I mean? The way that be... I would do it is um, because my background is machine safety as well from yeah. many years ago. So the way that I would do it would be having a one normally open, one normally close contact yep. right. on there. So if somebody just cut the wire, you'd they would both go open and yep. then you'd get the message to say, hold on, yeah. they're both the same state, somebody's tampered. In other words, yeah. it's tamper proof. Yeah. 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 Not tamper -proof Whereas if you have it so that when it's closed, you've got one open and one close contact, it's confirming that it's closed. And when it opens, because you're just using a cam to drive open, yeah. that, and you can hide that, you could box weld something over the top of that to yeah. protect it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you're then saying, right, I've opened that, so the open one's gone from zero to one, and the closed one's gone from one to zero, zero yeah. and it's confirmed on there, uh, on the phone. So, yeah, so, yeah. But if somebody just cut the wire, they'd both go to zero and it hold on something from Yes. We also talk with uh, the automatic control people. So, on the back end here, we've got an RFID and we've got a, a biometric for a fingerprint yeah. as well. Um, and we can also do that with the push button. Ta da! Ooh. And using our wireless technology. Just take one of the brushes. Oh. I'll throw it down here. Yeah. I was going to read it on the floor anyway. <laughs> it's come to that time of day, isn't yeah. it? We're all hungry. Yeah. We're all hungry. We're like throwing things around. A whopper of a day. You want one? I want one. I want a whopper of a day. Thank you so much. Yeah, you thank too. You thank you. Cheers. Are we stopping at Hutchinson or not? Uh, you can do. Is you on camera duty now? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. so this is your. Is Cookie going to be unhappy if. Um... No, there's no, there's no agronomy in here, so sorry. Oh, who? Okay. Who? Right. Who? Cookie? Who? 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 Who's that? So this is your uh, this is your on your uh, on your hub account. So yeah, right. dashboards gives us an idea of what we've got in the fields area wise. Yeah. Not sure if everything's in here. Crop wise in there, right? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, so that gives you an idea of all your nutrient calculations, plans, uh, seeds, uh, stocks, like fertilizer stocks, and any seed plans you got on here. So again, build whatever seed. Yeah. Um, I love it. I love it. Pie chart. Yeah, everyone loves a pie chart. Yeah. So that's the current 2022 cropping. Yeah. And then we can go here, we've got various different things on the side. So this is your fields, so this is your field boundaries. Yeah. So in here, like you said today, you were doing the thing about chellies and yeah, so yeah, I go yeah, on here yeah. and see where you are. Yeah, 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 exactly, yeah. <laughs> so it tells you your area, your fields, if you click on, say, front of the yard, it tells you the crop, the sky yeah. pool. Now, we might never need to come near for margins and bits in here, like this cross bank, we can trim this up to yeah. the cropped area. So we can set up your crop in different varieties by turning this on to varieties down here. So that's kind of the, the basics of it, like fields mapping. And yeah. then you've got layers in coming to here. So I've got on here some NDVI stuff, which is a satellite image. Yeah. So you come on here, there'll be some imagery of the fields. So this is showing us the variation. So if we come up to like Gwen's, this was done in uh, yeah, February, end, end, of end of February. So, so the green is the thickest. So there's a scale here, so green is the more biomass, yeah. and then brown is like, as you expect, more of the soil. So later drill stuff is sharp more brown, and then if it was earlier drilled, it then sharp with um, probably greener. Yeah. It gives you an idea of variation. Oh cool, I didn't even know we had this. Yeah, so that's the, yeah, so we can do things like that, we can bring in yield data, we can link up to John Deere. 
Yeah. So things like my John Deere, we can take all your boundaries out of here, send them to John Deere, so that if these are correct, yeah. then your boundaries to John Deere will be what's in here. Yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah. And then we can bring in, so yield data for combine, we can bring in soil type maps, um, we can bring in soil samples to this. Yeah. So all your soil samples come, we can do it on a either per field or on yeah. a zone basis. So you can do all your nutrition in here as well. So that's all you have. So uh, the cookie's done your nutrition plan in here. Yeah, this is a graph man thing. They love it, people love it, they absolutely love it. Going for merchandise? Yeah, this is more our cup of tea. Look, we found some potato equipment finally. Have you two had fun today? I'm filming this video. I've got a fan! Yay! Yay! Or more than one, should I say. Home. But yeah. Thanks to everyone that's come up to us and said uh, we love your videos. It's awesome. All four of you. Um, but yeah, no, I really appreciate it. I had fun at Lama, and um, now we're finished. We're going home. So, uh, see ya. And uh, that is the end of this video. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Us lot waffling on. Some nice kit on show here. Some nice price tags as well for it. We didn't buy anything. Got loads of freebies. Look. So, thanks everyone. And got to hang out with my sister and my dad all day. Got my granddad. Someone said I was stylish. You were stylish? Someone said I was stylish. Type made my day. We met Caleb, which was quite cool. Um, that was quite cool. Caleb Cooper. <laughs> Midget. Look, look at how short I am next this, to you. This is me looking at my face. Look, you can't even see Anna. Do you know what the highlight was? Is that someone didn't think we were related. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> that was quite funny. Fine. <laughs> Cheers, guys. A M6 M1. Yeah. Have some of that then, shall we? Dad, any, anything in particular you like? No. <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, Grumpy Granddad. Uh, yeah, that's why we called him Grumpy Granddad. Yeah. Yeah.